Hey everybody, perhaps the most famous sentence in all of the Bible is a mistranslation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's not quite accurate. Now, I've seen a lot of people say it should be in a beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And that's also not quite accurate, or at least it's incomplete. Because that first word in Hebrew, bereshit, is indeed indefinite. It's lacking the definite article, but that's because it's the first element in a construct phrase, and the first element in a construct phrase cannot take the definite article. It adopts the definiteness from whatever follows. And in Genesis 1.1, what follows is this clause, God created the heavens and the earth. And that's a reference to a specific event, so it is definite, so the first word adopts that definiteness. So if we were to translate it very literally from the Hebrew, it would be, an incomplete sentence. It would be a temporal clause that literally said, in the beginning of God creating the heavens and the earth. More idiomatically in English, we would render when God began to create the heavens and the earth. And then verses 2 and 3 would finish the sentence by describing the state of affairs. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was empty and desolate, and the Spirit of God was moving over the abyss or over the depths. So this is not creation ex nihilo. This is describing the state of affairs when God began their creative process. And the scholarly consensus is that creation ex nihilo was not developed until the second century CE and towards the end of the second century CE as Christian apologists were debating the morality of eternal matter and the nature of the resurrection with Gnostics and with other Greco-Roman thinkers. And so we don't have creation ex nihilo during any period of the actual composition of the Bible. That's something that's read back into Genesis 1-1 by later readers.